Hi, I'm John Parker, and uh, I wanted to share with you uh, a uh, video today, November 20th, uh, 2024, on DMEC surgery. So this is a surgery that actually was done a while back, but we had it, and someone asked me to describe it, so here we go. Um, this is uh, the whole case. It's not edited, except it's sped up about 25%. The surgery starts off with three little punctures in the eye. These are very similar to the sort of incisions that are made with cataract surgery. In fact, these are exactly the same uh, blades that we use for cataract surgery. And with DMEC surgery, the first thing that we do is we put a little air in the front part of the eye to support the cornea. So not only does it support the cornea, but it also lets us see the cells on the back of the cornea that we're going to replace. So it gives us a better view, and also the air provides some surface tension so that the uh, inside of the eye can be uh, accessed and manipulated more easily when there's air in it. So uh, the view's better, the uh, manipulation is better, and so we always uh, use air uh, for this first part of the surgery. And essentially, all, I'm, uh, all that we're doing right here is just uh, tracing an outline uh, of the uh, diameter of the uh, transplant that we'd like to use, or actually just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the transplant that we'd like to use. So here we're peeling off the cells that have not been working. So these are uh, a layer of cells, and we can see it's, it's kind of like peeling the cellophane off of a compact disc. And um, so we just... Uh, use the air and the surface tension that it produces to get a nice little sheet of cells and uh, we can just remove them from one of these tiny little incisions that we've created and um, this is uh, really uh, the longest part of the surgery so the surgery is actually uh, generally very quick uh, five to ten minutes uh, and this is a uh, uh, refill of the front part of the eye with air so that we can just check to see if we've left any cells behind. In fact, we've got a little light here that we can shine from different directions to look for any cells and there are no cells left behind. We stripped off an entire sheet so everything looks just perfect there. So what we're going to do now is just uh, make another little incision. Now this is actually another uh, blade that's used in cataract surgery. So this is the same size incision that we use for cataract surgery. It's 2.4 millimeters and uh, we're going to uh, get rid of the air bubbles now. So we're just going to replace the uh, air in the front part of the uh, eye with some salt water. And uh, this uh, special salt water um, allows us to uh, manipulate our uh, transplanted cells a little more easily. Uh, first thing we're going to do though is make some uh, openings in the iris. This will just keep the air that we put in the eye from obstructing the flow, the natural flow of fluid. So there are a couple little openings there at the bottom of the iris that we just created. And then uh, here we have a glass tube and we're going to um, put some new cells in the, in the eye. Now you'll notice these are blue. So they've been stained blue and the blue stain goes away very quickly, just hours. So it's not a, uh, a permanent blue eye, but this is uh, something that helps us to see the, uh, the tissue that we're going to uh, transplant. So we can make sure that it's right side up and uh, oriented properly. So. We just inject some little jets of fluid, again saline, and this saline allows us to observe the behavior of these, this layer of cells in the front part of the eye. And we can tap on the outside of the eye and uh, based on the way the cells are curling, we can kind of tell which way is right side up and now we can just kind of slide them over just a little bit and uh, do a little more tapping on the surface and have this uh, lay down just the way we'd like it. So this is really the end of the surgery. Now we want to hold the uh, cells that we've transplanted in the eye with some air, and that's what we're going to do here. But this is a uh, surgery where um, that's it. So this is DMEC surgery, and uh, we use uh, basically cataract incisions, drops. You can see that uh, the patient was very... Uh, able to just stay focused uh, centrally so we really didn't have any any uh, concerns about anything except uh, making sure everything was comfortable and as you can see this person was very comfortable just uh, very similar to cataract surgery the 
transplant is actually very much smaller than a, a lens implant that was used would be used in cataract surgery but there we go so we've got a an eye that's left full of air so uh, thanks for watching this with us we um, think DMEC is a great operation it keeps improving uh, gets quicker and quicker we uh, had several uh, uh, at least a couple dozen of these in the office today and um, actually you know now quite a few are under five minutes but it's it's a quick surgery and it's a uh, uh, a surgery that patients really like so uh, appreciate your uh, watching this with us thanks